This is very common question everybody asks, sir, why our paintings are not sold? We always try to sell our paintings, but we can't sell our paintings. What, what, what are the reasons behind this that we are unable to sell our paintings? There are many reasons, but one of the reasons, uh, um, um, but one of the reason I'll be sharing with you, but I think I'll be sharing many reasons, not one. Sir, why aren't we able to sell our paintings? We are artists. I am artist. I want to sell my painting. First of all, this is a question to all of you who are listening to my, who are listening to me. If you are amateur artists, if you want to sell your paintings, first question is, will you buy your own paintings? You just um, put your paintings on the table and uh, stand in, uh, in, uh, on a distance. And now you just start looking at your painting, paintings and you, you just observe, would you, uh, will you be uh, buying your paintings? No. Will you buy a, a sketch on a paper, on a piece of paper? No. You have to observe, you have to observe the mind of client. Client is a very um, keen, client is a very conscious person in the world. Client doesn't want to buy a useless thing. If you don't want to buy your own paintings, then why anybody else would be buying you, would be, would be purchasing your own your paintings? Number one. Number two, you are not a creator, you are a copier. Why? Do you search images on Google to paint on? Did you ever go outside to capture things to work on? Do you ever go outside in the market to capture the photo of a hawker and then you will be working on that photo? You, you will be working on the painting? No. Would you buy the painting on this size? No. Would you buy the copy of Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa is very expensive painting. But if you will copy that, if you will make that painting, that is useless. Nobody will be buying that because that is a copy. Where is your own creativity? Where is your own creation? We need your creation. Size, which size should be should be painted? Big size, properly framed, your own theme, your own creation, a message behind the painting. Properly framed, then you yourself would be buying your paintings. If someone will ask, if someone will be asking you to buy to, to sell the painting, you will say, No, it's very dear to me. I'm not going to sell this painting. That is the painting. If you want to sell all the paintings, if you want to leave them, if you want to leave those paintings, these all paintings should go out of my home. I want to sell them. If you are not taking your paintings, who will be taking them? If you are not loving your paintings, who else would love them to have? Nobody. First, make your own stuff. First, Make the paintings perfectly with your own creation, with your own stuff, with your own imagination, on your culture. I am in Pakistan and I, if I want to make the mountains of Switzerland, that's useless. Nobody will buy them. That's it. Little piece of paper, little canvases. What the hell? Do big a minimum two by two feet and two feet. Two feet, then someone will have a little interest to buy them. Just think what your societies, your audience want. That's it. Stop copying, stop making drawings on little piece of papers, a little canvases. Stop just uh, applying strokes without any message without any uh, good idea. Stop 
that that go outside find the things just like a hawker selling something an old lady begging a cute kids playing in your streets somewhere a little water uh, on the road and uh, the cars are crossing the roads capture it your own 